the topic for my blog this week is another cast on that I used in a pattern recently uh, <clears throat> so I'm doing a video in case anyone has a question with it and that is the knitted cast on and this is the easiest and simplest cast on of all I think it's particularly good for new knitters it was the first cast on I used and like any you make a slip knot and you basically knit the stitch and my loop instead of if I were knitting I would keep it on my right needle I transfer it back to my left needle I insert and I knit insert insert and it produces a cast on edge that looks like this that's the right side that's the wrong side now this is a loose cast on um, not the prettiest but it is the easiest to work now I'll go ahead and work a few stitches so we can see what it looks like when it's worked this is a nice loose cast on you can see so if I'm doing something like lace that's going to dip down a bit this might be one to consider there's another cast on I really like for doing that maybe I'll get to it in a later tip it's uh, stretchier than the long tail and certainly stretchier than the um, cable but again it's not the most attractive of all cast ons You've got these big kind of loops now if this were incorporated into a lace pattern uh, it might not be so bad now when I use the knitted cast on and I've just dropped my needle uh, I use it in the pattern that I've done for a raglan dress where I needed to cast on stitches for the armhole and I wanted it to be a nice loose cast on and I knew that it would be invisible because I would be picking up stitches so that is the knitted cast on